God of all creation, unbound by space and time, we confess our weariness as we log on once more in search of a holy connection. Though we would not choose to meet this way, we hold to the promise that you choose always to meet us where we are. When we feel the inadequacy of digital presence, remind us that you, O oh Lord, are fully present, even here. When we feel the strain of needing to perform who we are, when we are seen but not known, remind us that you, O oh Lord, know us completely. When we are tempted to trust the illusion of the screen and flatten others in dismissal, remind us that behind each square sits a living, breathing child of God. Behind each comment, a person in need of your love. When we fail to engage others well, show us your grace. When others fail to engage us well, may we show your grace. When it feels as though even our prayers are spoken into a void, speak to us your words of life, which never return empty. When we come to the edge of our limits, surprise us again with the fullness of your life. A life that lives in and flows through each of us, unhindered by blurry pixels and distorted sound. Lord Jesus Christ, image of the invisible God, give us faith to see your substance in the virtual. O Christ, in whom all things hold together, hold us together even in this time of physical separation. By your spirit, make us one, as your spirit has always done. That in the endless bluish glow that illumines our days and nights, we might be able still to see your endless light. Welcome to Forest Brook. We are God's church and a community of ordinary people following Jesus and being shaped by the power of the Holy Spirit to be more like him for the sake of the world. We exist to love God and love others. And we're learning to be the church where we live, work, go to school and play. However and wherever you are gathering from today, we're really glad to have you with us. If you're new around here, please take a moment to fill in a digital welcome card at forestbrook.ca so that we can get to know you a little bit better. So we have just finished celebrating the Super Bowl of the church calendar, Easter weekend, talking about the unbelievable love of God, the unstoppable power of Jesus, and the new beginning that he continues to invite us to, life by the Spirit. And today we're coming before the one who restores our souls, to be refreshed and reinvigorated and restored by his presence. So this morning is gonna look a little bit different. We'll be gathering here for about half an hour, and then we invite you to use the other 30 or so minutes that you'd set aside to be with us today to engage in something that restores your soul. It's sort of like those choose your own adventure books with multiple endings. We have some ideas and suggestions for you that we'll share with you in a little bit. And one of them is even to continue to gather with us together on Zoom. So this morning we will be parking on Psalm 23, one of the most famous parts of the Bible. 
For many of us, these words are so familiar, but we hope that you'll experience them today in a brand new way. I recently listened to a podcast where a speaker was leading through this chapter, inviting listeners to imagine and experience it firsthand. And by doing this, anyone listening was being invited to a meeting place with God. It was so powerful. And suddenly I found myself right there in the pasture that David, the writer, described. Kids, you are so much better at using your imaginations than adults. We need your help to remember how to do this well. But however old or young you are today, as we get started, can we try this together? I'll read through the psalm in a minute, and I invite you to imagine yourself in it. Turn off the noise and anything going on around you to encounter the good shepherd in this meeting place. As you listen, think about what does the green pasture look like to you? What color is the grass? Can you smell it? How does it feel? What about the quiet waters and the pathways? What do you picture around you? And most importantly, what about the good shepherd? Can you see him there too? What is he doing and how is he leading you? So maybe just close your eyes here for a minute and listen. Let's go to this meeting place to allow him to restore our souls in his presence today. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lie me down in pastures green Lead me to the water still Restore my soul Restore my soul Restore my soul For the Lord is my shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Lead me down along the right path, though I walk through valleys dark. I will not fear, I will not fear, for you are with me. For the Lord is my shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. prepare a 
table before me And you anoint my head with oil Surely goodness and mercy Goodness and mercy Shall follow me all of the days of my life For the Lord is my shepherd The Lord is my shepherd The Lord is my shepherd And I shall not want Morning, Forest Brook. Whew. A little out of breath. That's okay though. Let me explain why. I was asked if I would uh, just share a few thoughts this morning, some reflections on Psalm 23. 
and how he restores our soul. You know, you may be familiar with some of those verses. In the NIV, it says, He makes me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside quiet waters, and he refreshes or restores my soul. And the message there, it actually says, You let me catch my breath. <laughs> Just what I need right now. You know, welcome to Port Union Waterfront in beautiful Scarborough. We live not too far from here, so do the Madges actually. And for us, Leanne and the girls and myself, this is a go-to place for a run, for a walk. And I guess you could say that these are our quiet waters. And maybe you've got a place like that. You know, maybe at, uh, at home you've got a chair that's by a fireplace. Or you've got a place like a, a little nook in a reading room upstairs that you like to go to. At least you did. Until COVID turned those into a kindergarten Zoom class or a work boardroom. Well, here's the good news. We don't need a, a magic place to go and have God do his work of restoring our soul. You know, these verses, they're not actually about the green pasture or the quiet waters. They're actually about Him, the loving God who knows that our soul needs refreshing. He makes me lie down. He leads me. He restores. He lets me catch my breath. And so it's beautiful for, for each of us that God does this, and, and when we're weary and when we allow Him to, that He refreshes us. But what's even more amazing is that during the times when I stubbornly refuse to slow down, when I even forget that I need to stop. You know, during Zoom, it's those times where we all feel we can just squeeze in one more meeting, one more phone call, one more little project, one more little to-do list. Even in those moments, God is fully aware that we need to be restored. You know, we've got a dog six-year-old Italian water dog named Bella and she is a much loved part of the family but wreaks some havoc because of her high energy and when she was young her energy was off the charts so I remember one time she was six months old and we went to Leanne's brother's place and our nephew Drew he's a year older than Rebecca he scooped Bella up and sat down with her and we watched with amusement as she was thrashing around and just yipping at him and trying everything she could to get away. And Drew decided that he would match his will with hers. And so the more she flailed and thrashed around, the more he held her tight. And incredibly, after about 20 minutes of watching this happen, Bella just gave up. And she collapsed into his lap, content. He had made her lie down to restore her soul. Almost like a little baby boy. Little baby who is exhausted, just so tired, he doesn't even know what's going on. He doesn't know what he needs, but he's screaming and screaming. He's beyond the point of no return. But his mom knows exactly what he needs. And so she scoops him up and holds him tight and, and sings a little song over him and prays a prayer of blessing and kind of shushes him and rocks him until he yields and peacefully falls asleep in her arms. She made him lie down to restore his soul. Do you know in the last two days, I've had three different people tell me that that had been their worst day of this pandemic weary and impatient and frustrated and anxious let's be reminded this morning of this incredible truth from this ancient song the god who created those green pastures and who created these immense quiet waters he wants to restore your soul he offers to let me catch my breath. Friends, we need it. Let's let them do it. So this is where we'll wrap up our time together today, but we invite you to take the next half an hour or so to do something that restores your soul.
Maybe take a moment first to ask God what that is for you specifically. How is he drawing you near and inviting you to restoration and rest, to catch your breath, to meet with him this morning? Maybe you're not sure, so here are some ideas just to get you started. How about call someone that you haven't talked to in a while and ask to pray with them and pray for them? Maybe pray or reread Psalm 23 together with others in your household. Check out this week's worship packet if you have not already. You can find that at forestbrook.ca. It is designed especially for families, but truthfully, anyone of any age can find some amazing ways to engage with it. There are spaces to color and to build Lego with a guide to meet Jesus through music and reading the scriptures. How about go for a walk or a hike? Find your green pasture or your still waters and spend time praying there. Or how about something creative like drawing and painting and writing? We will be guiding a time on Zoom following this video for reflecting and praying together as a group. So you can find the link for that in the YouTube description or in your email too. And whatever you choose to do, we pray that this would be a rich time of refreshment and renewal as we meet with the Good Shepherd, allowing him to restore our souls.